Hey, Jonathan from GameSpot here. I'm here with Dan as well. Like, we just checked out the Sony press conference in Japan. So, what do you think about it? I mean, any new stuff that we've seen? Like no PlayStation 4. There were some, some questions about whether we'd see the PlayStation 4. Nope, nothing here. But they did announce a whole bunch of stuff. There are new PlayStation 3s coming, which is huge news. There's going to be a couple of different colors for the Vita. They're going to be a blue and red model. Uh, they are doing some interesting stuff with free-to-play potentially for the Vita. They are talking about doing an all-you-can-eat style service for Vita with PlayStation Plus. They also had uh, cross-buy functionality, which we saw mentioned at Gamescom, which is all about kind of uh, giving discounts to the, the people who buy on one platform. So the example they showed was everybody's golf. Uh, if you buy the Vita version and then you want the PlayStation 3 version, you get it 50% off, which is a nice little incentive. But they didn't say if that's going to be extended to everything over time, whether that's going to be a region-by-region region basis. They also announced that some of the uh, cross-functionality for, for platforms, so there was a lot of thought about whether the uh, the Vita was going to be a controller and we'd seen it alluded to a little bit in the past but they showed a demo today of using Little Big Planet with two very different experiences where there was the PlayStation 3 version where they played it as they normally would and then they had the, the Vita kind of sidekick version where somebody got to, to help out with a mini game on a different screen and it looked a lot like kind of the, the Rayman sort of stuff they showed off for the, uh, the Wii U if I believe at, right. At E3 this year so you know whether Sony's out to, to cut Nintendo's lunch on that one and take away the big selling point of their, their console remains to be seen. That's also, also some other interesting stuff, mostly for the Japanese market. Like, um, they actually had like a PSP, PS Vita cross, uh, more like a crossplay thing going on. Like, for instance, God Eater 2, that was the last game they announced. They're going to have like the same version of the game for the Vita and the PSP. The Vita one will look pretty, of course, but if you have like either one versions, you can actually play with another guy with a different version. So a Vita guy, a Vita player of God Eater 2 can actually play with a PSP guy more or less or and vice versa back and forth. So I believe there's actually some uh, ad hoc thing that they're really trying to push for that. So that the boots, the plug portables can be together rather than cannibalize each other on sales. Like anything else, like I think I mean they also announced a date for the the new PS3 Slim, right? Slimmer, right? They did. So the uh, yeah, they're saying that it's 50% slimmer and lighter. Uh, than the console that launched in 2006, and I think it was 20% lighter than the current Slim. So it's it's, like it's getting smaller, um, and as and the bigger hard disk too. it is the the big change is the hard disk. So the uh, the basic size is going to be a 250 now, uh, and then there's also a 500 gig model, which is interesting. And of course, they did announce like a few other titles, Soul Sacrifice being delayed back and forth. But hey, we get to test it out at uh, tomorrow at TGS. Exactly, let's talk about this demo coming too. Of course, that's coming out soon. And uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned to GameSpot for actually more coverage on Sony stuff.